Hey guys, so very exciting. We have an unboxing of the Sony Xperia X2 Ultra. So let's go and take a quick look at the outside of the box first. So on the front we have Xperia X2 Ultra. And on the side, uh, same thing, the logo there. And the bottom. And the other side. And look at the back, so some specs here. We're going to go over in a second. So we have a nice clean box, and let's go and open it up. And the unboxing, uh, the unboxing knife is definitely necessary for this. And right on top we have the instruction manual. The Sony Xperia X2 Ultra. Gonna take a closer look at that in a second. Pretty nice blue color there, and it's also available in pink, silver, and black. So there's some more instruction manuals. USB type C cable. And some headphones. I think probably the same as the ones on the uh X2. Let's just take a quick look at them. So of course you still have the Sony branding right here. And let's see, we should have and yep, we also have the uh, remote control right here. And then we have the power supply to wall outlet. Okay guys, so what do y'all care about the phone itself? And this one I'm definitely very, very excited about. Uh, I think that uh, again, on paper, it sounds pretty amazing, but of course, you have to test it out, see how it is. So, definitely liking the blue color on this, and let me just go ahead and take off this uh, screen protector on the front. Actually, not really a screen protector, just a piece of plastic. And you get this in single or dual SIM version. So the front is pretty nice looking and we'll show you guys comparison versus the XA and the XA1 in a second there. And not too much bulk to it despite having a much larger battery in the XA1. So definitely pretty nice looking you guys see the fingerprint scanner right here, 23 megapixel camera right here. And on the front you actually have two cameras uh, which is pretty crazy especially for a mid-range phone. And we'll discuss that more in a second but one of them is 6 MP, the other one is 8. And at the bottom there, USB Type-C. At the top, you have the headphone jack. And the power button there on the side, as well as the, uh, as well as the volume marker and the camera key. Alright guys, so I'm going to go ahead and put my info and I'll be back in a second. So, so far I've been using the phone for a few days and I'm extremely impressed with it. And I would even say that this phone is better than a lot of the other flagships on the market. Uh, not the Sony flagships, not the Xperia XE1, the Xperia XE Premium. But just from other companies, I do prefer this phone to those. Not all of them, of course, but still, I do prefer this to a lot of the other flagship phones on the market. So let's go over the specs and then do a comparison versus the XA2. The XE Premium, the XA Ultra, and the XA1 Ultra. So on the front you have a 6.0 inch 1080p screen and you have two cameras on the front, one of them is 16MP, the other one is 8 and you also have front facing flash on it. So extremely impressive for a phone to have all that stuff and if you want to see more on it I'll put a video in the top right corner for you all to check out. Now on the back you have one camera 23MP and a fingerprint scanner right here. The phone is either 32 or 64GB internal storage and micro SD card support. You fortunately do have the Snapdragon 630 rather than the Helio processor. Uh, MediaTek Helio processor like last year. Definitely not a fan of the MediaTek processor. You also have Android 8 Oreo on board, a massive 3580 capacity battery. And that is a huge improvement over the XA1 Ultra which is only 2700. Okay guys, so let's go ahead and do the comparison now. So next up we have a quick boot up test. I'm doing some quick hands on as well. And hopefully I can turn all these on at the same time. And here we go, one, two, three.
and only took about four times to get all those to boot up at the same time. So right over here on the left we have the XA Ultra, the XA1 Ultra, the XA2, the XA2 Ultra, and the XA Premium. Now the first two are on the N7 Nougat and the last three are on uh, Android 8 Oreo. And the XA Premium unsurprisingly the first one to boot up. With that you have the Snapdragon 835 and I think it should be the XA2 Ultra then the XA. Yep, XA2 Ultra, XA. And the XA1 and the XA, or rather the, uh, sorry, it's so, it's so confusing. The XA1 Ultra and the XA Ultra. So believe it or not, I actually do prefer the design of the XA2 Ultra over the XA Premium. Now the XA Premium, it does feel a bit more premium feeling. It is more high quality, better, uh, better quality on it. But with the XA2 Ultra from the front, you guys see smaller bezels on it. So the XA2 Ultra, despite having a much larger screen at 6.0 inches versus 5.5, it does have smaller bezels on it. So the overall size is actually pretty similar between the two. Yeah, so a bit taller here on the XA2 Ultra, but not much. And the width and the height are also extremely similar. So the Ultra is obviously not as good a phone as the Premium, but I am loving the design here on the Ultra. Now taking a look at the Ultra series, I actually do prefer the design of the original because it's less boxy than the 1 or the 2. But still, I do prefer the design of the 2 over the 1. And of course, you do the Freeman Scanner on the 2, you do not on the previous 2. And let's go ahead and stack them real quick. And there's a quick look at them stacked. So you're getting a lot of upgrades from the 2 to the 1. And that includes an extra camera on the front, an improved camera on the back. Uh, again guys, both of them are 23 MP on the back, but it is improved on the XA2 Ultra. You're getting the Snapdragon 630, which is a huge improvement over the MediaTek Helio processor to B20. You also have the latest software update of Android Oreo over Android 7 Nougat. And you also have a massive, massive, massive improvement in the battery of 3580 versus 2700. Now comparing the 2 to the 2 Ultra, the 2 is a lot less expensive and it is easier to hold a lot smaller. But aside from that, it's all advantages for the 2 Ultra. And that includes a larger screen at 6.0 inches versus 5.2. You have an additional front piece of camera on the X2 Ultra. The Ultra also has a larger battery and an option for a 64GB model. Now I will be having a full comparison between both these phones in the future, so if you're not already subscribed, press in the middle there. So overall, I'm definitely impressed with the XA2 Ultra, but of course, you have a lot more testing to do. And I am going to be doing a full comparison versus the XA2. So if you guys liked the video and want some like it, press the button below to subscribe for more. So let me know in the comment section below if you want to get the phone. And as always, thank you for watching.